Okay, this is WordPress part two. This is how you get your WordPress blogging on, all right? First, you get someone to help you install and code and design a WordPress.org blog. You get a web hosting and all that stuff. You should have that done. Bam. And then you get someone to design or help you create a theme. Here are a few sites. This site's right here. So no, this is another site, all WordPress theme. Yes, yet another site, all WordPress. You could do all kind of different things with your site, change it any way you want. And these are the back ends. This is what the back end looks like. You have lots of different options on, on tracking things, tracking posts, tracking amount of users, tracking your plugins, and tracking all the posts and things that go on in your site. Now, there's lots of different ways of doing this stuff. There's plugins. I'm just going to give you the basics. The most important thing is to blog. Blogging. Um, information are called posts. You add a new post, you could see it on any one of these dashboards. This is the dashboard of your site. Matter of fact, when you're logged into your website, you have a dashboard at the top where you can add new posts, add new almost anything. The way you log into your site is usually you have a, a control panel area. If your website doesn't have a control panel area, like this one, we, we choose to take it off where it's the website WP admin. And that's what you click to get to the, yeah, there, there. So see, it gets you to there. Um, it shows you how many posts you have. shows you, uh, shows you everything you have and, and how, this, how it works. Now, see, this one has a, a slideshow of different things that you can go through and videos and stuff you could watch. Okay, like say you want to add a new post. Want to add something new. It's really easy. You go to your dashboard and you go to post. Add new. Real important things on your site to be to make your site real easily accessible and searchable is have a, multiple categories on whatever whatever the categories of your site is have tags as well. Like see, if I go on to let's go in to these two different sites, you could notice the 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 categories and then the tags for each different um, type of post. I make sure I put a lot of tags based on whatever I'm posting about and I put them in the categories it needs to be in it and you could see the authors of each post different authors can post different things um, you can trash edit delete you could do different things there's different titles too there's authors um, there's editors there's admins and all those things if you want to edit or change or make new pages you would just go into the pages section now if you want to add more pictures you have to use some kind of cata some kind of gallery posting I like next gen gallery because you can go down to gallery and add gallery or images and then from there you could literally pick whatever area whatever album you want and add the pictures there but the most important things are just adding new posts add a new post edit post and you could see RSS news right here we have this setup that it automatically pulls from a website I suggest websites not using that because that makes people that go to your website know that you're just a, f um, a feed form so it it steers me away from websites personally I don't know I can't speak for everyone but I definitely speak for myself <laughs> So um, you, ha when you make a, a post on your website, you make sure you add images, and if also you want um, blog uh, um, ads, if you want to make money, images and videos and stuff, they all help your website. That help the appeal to your website, and lots of good information like tag clouds to see what's talked about the most, um, Twitter updates, maybe quick links to things that are important to your site is always good to have and the different menu options and it's real simple to do all you do is add the add posts add or add pages or edit say you have a page full of videos you go click your videos and you have all your videos on there to edit it well when you're signed in all you do is click edit page and you'll come down here and you see there's the HTML Ooh, don't get scared you can just click visual once you click visual then you have a whole visual representation depending on the plugins you have you have options to do things like this now I'm not gonna go in depth with all the plugins if you really wanna know what kind of plugins that I use or I recommend then you go ahead and subscribe and and like this video and then you could comment on it asking me and I can tell you all kind of different cool plugins like this is one to just get videos all in there all at one time there's all kind of different skins um, I make lots of skins myself. This is the RSS poster to make a feed, um, a RSS form, a feed form, <laughs> kind of website. Um, different 
plugins have different uh different themes have different things like plugins like slides like I was showing you there's slides on the this guy's website which is right here you can see the slides and these are pictures and you could pause it or you can go through them it goes on their own as you see but you can pick anything you want for them to be you could put um, you can have different ways of uh, organizing all your different categories so you can see all the categories my website has you can see all the different tags and what's most popular what's starred what people like and what people comment on the most um, there's lots and lots and lots of things you could do with it a WordPress blog is always very very customizable like to the extent of any other website really and it's great because you could have lots of people adding to it and with the iPad and the iPhone apps you could even blog from those apps um, uh, WordPress iPad how about that now, let's see if we can get get anywhere from this it don't it don't look too amazing or anything but it's just I mean it's it's a way to be at a post to see to see your post to edit your post you can't do the great way you have to load a little bit of code you can type in quick things you could add pictures but the best way to do it is through here you get your site set up you put things together you can change your appearance at any time you want you could moderate your comments add new users links media pages themes plugins and it's very very endless there's so many plugins out there to make different things like let me go ahead and I'll go through plugins. Install plugins on this one. Um, install plugins on this one. And then let's check out some of the install plugins. So this one. I like to use different ones for different things. So you see there's 17 active plugins on here. I'll go quickly through the ones that are on here. There are 28 active plugins on this one. I'll go kind of quickly on this that we use on that side. And this one has, there's six active plugins on this one. Um, this is a newly created website. And this actually, I'm making this video right now mostly for the guy, the Epic Music Group company, to teach them how to add more things. You can always add more pages too. And there's um, a way of doing it. Um, this the theme that's for this one is a real complicated one. But if you have a very basic theme, usually it just does it automatically for you. So there's a lot of ways to help things do it automatically. Add little image galleries, polls. You could even have ratings or share each post on any social network out there, whatever you want. There's me sleeping, sleeping on the job. It's all cool out there, right? So WordPress. I know I made a previous video showing it to y'all, but I got to make a new one because they have recently, as of today, updated to what? WordPress 2.3, 3.2? Uh, let me guess. WordPress 3.2, boom, and you can see it's pretty cool. And hey, check out the uh, how good the um, Minecraft website's been going on. It's Minecraft.337studios.com. Not that great today, but the oh, you know what? I deleted all my previous things. But anyway, y'all enjoy WordPress. It's a great tool for getting your stuff out there.